New tonight, people in North Little Rock are speaking out about the need for more sidewalks. It started with a video showing a man and his kids walking on the side of a busy road. Alexis Wainwright spoke with them. She's joining us now live to explain what's going on there. Hey, Alexis. Bob and Laura, well, there are many places around town that were built without sidewalks. Now, to put things into perspective, we're not far from Camp Robinson Road. And if you take a look here beside me, if I wanted to walk right here, there's not much room to do so. Now, tonight I talked with several residents who live in this area, many of them telling me it's starting to make them change their lifestyles at this point. They don't want to go out because it's such a hassle and safety concern. The inspiration came behind. Seeing um, kids, adults walking with grocery bags, uh, trampling, climbing over ditches and swells. It's just enough is enough. After living here for around 22 years, Jerry Guzman is highlighting a big issue for his community. I come from a, a place where sidewalks are a norm. And unfortunately, here they're not. Guzman says the lack of sidewalks has been an ongoing problem for the Camp Robinson Levy area in North Little Rock. He says it's an issue when you're on a main access road like Camp Robinson. I walk my dog down our little road in the cul de sac. I, if I go beyond that, I, I absolutely have to have him right here beside me. There's no sidewalks on any of the other. Main roads. A few other community members explain how this affects them daily. A lot of other people are on scooters. They can't go nowhere because their roads are too rough. Young teenage daughter, uh, she's had to catch the bus over by that, that little park not far down the road from here and walk a few blocks to our home. It's a little nerve wracking for her to be that close to a very busy street. For entertainment, outdoors, I mean, we outsource. We leave the city of North Little Rock. Um, because there aren't places that you can go uh, on foot. I spoke with Mayor Joe Smith, who says if there is a block or street request, the person has to talk to their city council member. Smith says their top priority for sidewalks are areas around schools, and if there's any other areas, they will listen and see what they can do. Meanwhile, Guzman says they've seen some other projects being done, but not many sidewalks. They have been doing some work, bits and pieces every year but nothing like uh, a true chance transformation to our community. He says he's reached out to council members and attended city meetings, but hasn't had much of a response or assistance. Community members, mothers, fathers, elderly people, we would all love to see change here. And keep in mind that some of the people that live in this area aren't fortunate enough to have a car, so they're forced to walk in areas like this. Now, Guzman says it might come down to the point where they have to make a committee in order to find grants to help this situation. Reporting live tonight in North Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, KRK4 News. Back to you guys. All right, Alexis, thanks very much. Sam Pittman building a defense while going on offense against his latest opponent, COVID-19. Coming up, we'll hear from the head hog about how he plans to handle practices this week, plus an update on other SEC programs struggling with COVID. Next. Yeah. We do. What's up? That's okay. How much do you need to chop? Take out both of those women's basketball things. Yeah, those are filler anyways, so. <laughs> Sorry, cool. Um, can y'all hear me? Yeah. So, okay, so, yeah, so I'm going to do like a minute quick hit for the 9 and 10 here tonight, not like a simulcast or anything. If y'all want that, I can do that too. Um, it's literally just a straight like minute, just kind of brief summary. Yeah, no, we'll have some video, but the only fresh sound we're going to have is from players, and so I want to save that for the actual sports block. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, that's no problem. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Pig Trail Nation Report, powered by your Arkansas Select Buick GMC dealers. Sam Pittman will not travel with the Razorbacks this weekend for their game in Gainesville. The Head Hog is required to quarantine after testing positive for COVID-19 twice this week. So, until he can come back, Pittman will be handing the reins over to defensive coordinator Barry Odom. And while it's going to be hard for him to not be at practices or at the game this weekend, Pittman says he's not going to micromanage his staff. Bottom line is, we have a coach for every position. We have coordinators for all three phases. And they do the coaching. I mean, that's what happens. Uh, and uh, they'll continue to do that. I'm not worried about practice. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'll talk to them uh, before practice starts uh, over Zoom. And I don't want to make too big a deal out of me. You know, I'm, um, I've got good coaches. They'll be fine. Now, for more on the effect that this is going to have on the team, let's send it over to our senior analyst, Mike Irwin. Tara, normally not having your head coach available for a big road game like Florida would not be good at all. But once again, we are seeing just how significant the hiring of Barry Odom was. Not only is Odom a former head coach himself, he was the head coach in the SEC East. He's been on the sidelines at Florida. In fact, just two years ago, Odom's Missouri team blew Florida out in Gainesville. During practice, I oversee every drill and all those things. Barry won't be able to do that because he's got a defense to get ready. As far as the um, voice of the team and those things, that'll be Coach Odom. And certainly on Saturday, he'll, he'll act as the head coach and he'll do a, a damn fine job, I'm sure. Now, Odom is going to have to have somebody up in the booth in place of him to help with the defensive calls, but he'll be on the headsets and will be involved. Also, when he was the head coach at Missouri, you have to know that even though he had a defensive coordinator, he was still involved with the defense during games. So he's been in this situation before. Terry, you never want something like this to happen, but it looks like Arkansas has it covered about as well as it can be covered. All right, Mike, thanks so much for that. As for the rest of the SEC, a number of programs are struggling with COVID-19 right now. Three games have been postponed due to positive tests, contact tracing, and quarantine players. Auburn versus Mississippi State, Alabama versus LSU, and Texas A&M versus Tennessee all postponed. Hopefully the Razorbacks will make it to Saturday, Arkansas, and Florida. Set to kick off at 6 p.m. Saturday. You can watch that game on ESPN. Good night. <laughs>